what's good y'all it's your girl miss golden 83 hey y'all hey it's been a minute i know um missed you guys biting on my lip um hope y'all are doing good hope y'all enjoyed y'all fourth um this is going to be the first A Word from the Ancestors reading, okay? Um, this is a new spread. Told y'all something that was coming, okay? Um, if y'all looking at my shirt and saying, wait, didn't you wear that shirt last week? Well, Spirit said, this is now my tarot uniform. Okay. Um, if you don't like it, I don't care. Okay. Because I am Chopper. I am like Chopper. Okay. Um, I love me some Chopper. He's from One Piece. Okay. He is a deer. Okay. And he can, he has all these different gears and stages. And, but most of all, he is a healer. Okay. And so that is what I came to do. I came to heal and I'm going to say it now and hopefully I don't have to say it again but any weapon no weapon spiritual or physical will prosper in in my area in my space okay so I'm going to just leave it at that okay you don't like me it is fine if you do not resonate with me that is fine if you do not like tarot that is fine but you're here because you need to hear something okay and so I'm here to deliver the message that needs to be heard all right so without further ado that is enough on that okay the sign <laughs> that this reading is for is for Pisces okay um, I'm probably going to do this type of intro for every sign that I do today, um, and therefore out, but yeah, this apparently is going to be my tarot uniform. Good old chopper, okay? Um, so Pisces, this is your ancestor, a word from the ancestors reading, okay? We are going to only use four decks. We are going to use the Urban Tarot, okay, which is basically five cards that we're going to pick. We're not going to shuffle. We're going to pick two cards from the top, two from the bottom, and one from the middle, okay? Um, and it's basically with the Urban Tarot is what's going on in your life right now, okay? Um, this is what your ancestors need you to know as they observe you from the great beyond, okay? We are going to use the everyday tarot for clarifiers. We are then going to um, pull from the ancestors um, oracle, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one from the middle. So only three cards. And then a message from the angels which is going to be like what's your support message um, from the angels um, one from the top again one from the bottom and one from the middle so we are not doing any shuffling however all decks have been shuffled and cut three times as normal okay so let's get into it okay don't really have to knock but force a habit okay so, like I said, we are going to do two cards from the top. I'm not going to look at them. I'm just going to place them down, okay? Two from the bottom. So the very bottom card. These have a really good thick card stock. So I just like to like flick it to make sure I'm not picking up more than one, okay? And then I'm going to face it this way so that way you guys can't see the bottom, okay? Um, and we're not looking at the bottom of the deck. 
So energetically, I'm feeling this card here needs to come out. And so we are done with that. Okay. Get the everyday tarot out. Um, we will check the bottom of the deck of the everyday tarot after the clarifiers. So let's flip them over and see what we have. So we have the five of pentacles, worry. We have the prince of wands, the journalist. We have the three of wands for virtue. We have the seven of wands, valor. Okay. And we have the seven of cups, debauch. Debauch. Okay. Seven of Cups, that's water. Um, wands, water, and earth energy here, okay? Someone is in worry with this Five of Pentacles. Usually in regular Tarot with the Five of Pentacles, it usually is talking about someone being, you know, left out in the cold, things of that nature in regular Tarot. But this is the Urban Tarot deck. So, some of you could be dealing with some health issues. Um, as we see, this person is in a hospital. Um, seeing the bracelet. Someone's possibly been in a hospital for a while. They're talking to the doctor the way their hands are. It's like, I don't... I don't understand, when did this happen, um, how, um, I'm getting like, but I take care of myself, um, type of vibes here. The doctor is like, I'm hearing some things need to change, um, or it could end badly for you, okay? Or for someone, okay? Let me not say you. But um, something needs to change, okay, within your within your life. Okay, that's for some of you. It may not be for everyone, okay? Um, but it could just be some of you are worried about your finances. Um, possibly have been going from job to job, maybe you have some hospital bills that are piling up, maybe you're just coming back from the hospital Pisces, um, or someone that you know is coming back from the hospital and you're just trying to figure out how you're going to pay for all of this. Um, I'm hearing somebody may have some surgery um, that needs to be done and it's going to be really costly and you don't really know how. Um, you're going to pay for all of this, okay? So if someone is in worry about their finances overall is what I'm getting. But for some of you, it could be related to health, okay? So the Prince of Wands, the journalist here, okay? There's some words that are going to be spoken, okay? Um, I'm getting like face the truth type of vibes from this card like someone is like speaking facts it's not lies or anything like that um this could be you um maybe addressing some people in your life like look I've got too much on my plate right now to be dealing with your mess um, so, I'm hearing shape up or shape out, or ship out, 
Okay, so someone with Prince of Wands here is like fine with this, like putting their foot down and saying, you know, there has to be a change. Maybe um, I'm hearing somebody could have suffered like a heart attack or something like that um, due to worrying too much about someone in their life. Um, you could have somebody who's problematic in your life that is causing you a lot of stress and it needs to change, okay? Um, so you could be like telling someone um, because you, with this three of wands here, okay, with virtue, um, you wanna build towards something new. I feel like you are, like with the fire truck here, it's like you are ready to put out the fires. Um, before you know everything goes ablaze you are trying to build a foundation for yourself um starting a new beginning but it's like you have some fires that you need to put out okay that are around you and i'm hearing there's there's no room for you to i guess sweep it under the rug possibly like you could have been doing for a while now like maybe if you have been having some health issues, you've been trying to sweep it up underneath the rug and you let it get too bad. So now you have no choice um, but to make these changes. So we have the Seven of Wands, Valor, okay? So I feel like you are defending yourself, okay? Um, against people, places or things that are no longer serving you. Okay, this is kind of picking up a little bit off of Aquarius's last read um, a bit for me, but um, so I don't know if you may have Aquarius in your chart or not, but um, when I get, when I post Aquarius, by all means, you can look at that video if you have Aquarius in your chart or dealing with an Aquarius um, or vice versa, Aquarius needs to look at your ancestor reading. Um, but yeah, with the Seven of Wands, someone is like defending something, okay? Um, this is talking about valor. So um, I feel like someone's defending their honor or their position or really like putting, I'm seeing like putting your foot down um, where you know things have to change. Um, with the Seven of Cups, okay, debauch much okay I mean it gives me club party vibes things like that um, some of you could be party goers or drinkers things like that and maybe that is one of the things that you need to stop doing is drinking um, others of you it could just be I'm hearing I have so much life to live I've got too much to live for. It can't end here. What do I have to do? You know, you have so many things that you want to do or achieve, and this is now getting in the way of you living your life to the fullest like you want to. So, it feels like your bad or toxic habits have caught up with you in a sense, Pisces. Um, like I said, where it feels like someone was just constantly sweeping it under the rug, like noticing some pains or things like that that were out of the ordinary and not paying it any attention, like just doing over-counter medicine or whatever the case may be, or putting it off until the next day or the next week. And now you're in a predicament where you can't afford to do that, okay? So, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and what has the rest to the next, okay? So, we're going to go in with the Everyday Tarot to clarify, okay? These, we are going to shuffle, okay? We are going to shuffle. Um, but hopefully we can just get one no more than three clarifiers any more than that i'm putting it back in the deck so hopefully that won't take up too much time in your reading as we hit 15 minute mark spirit 
angel guys is clarify worry clarify worry for Pisces why is worry here for Pisces why is worry here for Pisces five pentacles As your clarifiers fell to the floor and we have three here for you so I said three or less okay so we do have the six of wands the ace of wands and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So, you guys have been, like I said, either worrying about your finances or worrying about health, things of that nature, okay? Could be going on. Um, I do see you coming out of this victorious, okay? Um, because of the fact that you have so much passion within you to fix it. You know you can't put it off anymore The where you are now, currently, okay? So you have this new found respect for life with this Ace of Wands here um, is how I feel. And you do want the six of wands this victory you're literally marching towards this ace of wands here the way that it's set up okay just look at that marching towards this ace of wands you want that new victory okay you want to live a better life you want to achieve all the goals like i said um that you want with the Ace of Pentacles here as well, I feel like something is going to come for you where you are going to be able to um, come afloat of these finances. Um, I'm hearing it's not going to be as expensive as you thought, like your hospital bill is not going to be as expensive. Um, don't forget, if you have insurance, make sure you're using your insurance. Um, so I'm hearing your insurance is possibly going to cover the majority of it. So you don't have to worry so much about the cost. Okay. So the bottom of the deck, the emperor is at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like you are, like I said, going to stand your ground. Um, you're not going to let anyone... Um, get you in this predicament again okay um, I'm hearing stress anxiety um, depression um, something that you're battling with that has caused all of this I, I don't want to use this word but I'm hearing like a malfunction with within your body okay some form of negative energy has been attacking your body um, and it could just be an overall um, obsession with your finances but if it's related um, stress on yourself personally can definitely start affecting the rest of your body if you are not careful okay so like I said, you are going to be victorious in the situation. This is not going to be for everybody. But like I said, I have a feeling that your um, insurance is going to pay the majority of it. Um, if, a if a surgery is involved, it is going to go well. And I feel like you are going to have a new lease on life um, when this is over. Okay. So let's go into the Prince of Wands. Why is the Prince of Wands here? Thank you. So, again, we have three cards. 
Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Wands, again, coming out, okay? So again, like I said before, defending yourself, I think you're going back and forth um, with the truth, okay? You look at these two together, okay? You're going back and forth. There's truth, clarity being provided to you, but you're going back and forth and wanting to accept it or not, okay? Or someone that you are communicating these issues to um, isn't willing to accept the truth um, of the situation and so it feels like you have to like defend yourself and be like why would I lie um, I don't know why I'm getting someone would think that you would lie about your finances or lie about your health and what it's been doing to you um, maybe because they see you um, as someone that's always been healthy or, um, I don't know, maybe they think you're someone that, I'm hearing someone that cries wolf all the time, like you claim something's wrong, but then there's nothing wrong with you. Um, so I don't know, it feels like someone feels like you're lying about the situation, but it's like you're not, you know, you literally like just got this information and you're trying to process it yourself let alone trying to explain it to other people okay so right now either someone is having a hard time dealing with the truth um and having to defend themselves um or it's you it's you having problems accepting the truth or it's someone else having problems accepting the truth and you're having to defend yourself, okay? Um, bottom of deck, we do have the Queen of Cups. So like I said, I feel like it's already difficult enough for you to deal with the truth, let alone tell others that you feel like um, need to know this information. So right now with the queen of cups i feel like you are full of emotions right now because you're just trying to grasp the situation yourself um and like i said you don't need the additional stress and you don't have to prove anything to anybody either as long as you know what you need to do for yourself that is all that matters okay nobody else um sometimes people can be a little bit selfish and not really think of the person um, when it comes to um, their health um, in a sense for some people that could be your situation um, where you have people that are like well what about me or whatever like thinking about how it's going to affect them when they should be worried about how it's affecting you okay so let's move on to the three of wand spirit 2343 as we get into your reading three of wands okay no that's way too many that was like five look like five keep it simple spirit three of wands three of wands for pisces three of wands for pisces thank you i'm gonna make sure nothing else would go okay so we have the three of cups. I mean, not the three of cups, the ace of cups, clarifying the three of wands, okay? So I feel like you're filling up your own cup here. Like I said, you are trying to move forward, rebuild your foundation from the ground up, okay? putting out these fires left and right, aside from your health, um, you're dealing with other things as well. So um, I 
I feel like someone's working, then they, they may be a parent, um, taking care of kids, um, and Spirit is saying it's, it's time to pour back into your cup, it's time for you to really take care of you right now with this Ace of Cups being here, and I think you know that already, okay, but we do have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck, so some of you, um, I'm hearing may feel guilty um, about possibly cutting some people out um, or removing yourself to really just focus on taking care of you right now, okay? Because like I said, I don't really see another person or anything like that. This is you. This is something that you are dealing with, okay? So don't feel guilty um, I'm hearing, you know, should I even have said anything? Um, maybe I should have just kept it to myself. Um, just really in your head right now with the hanged man, um, because you're trying to figure out what it is, what your next move is, or what do you do? Um, also just looking at the people around you and who's actually, you know, caring enough to also fill up your cup you know what I mean so get in where you fit in okay spirit seven of wands why is the seven of wands here seven of wands for Pisces seven of wands for Pisces Keep it simple, Spirit. Seven of Wands for Pisces. Keep it simple. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Pisces? Seven of Wands for Pisces. Some that want to come out, but seven of wands, the Pisces, seven of wands, the Pisces, thank you. So we have the Three of Wands. Again, the Three of Wands and the Death card. Okay, Three of Wands and the Death card clarifying the Seven of Wands. So I feel like, like I said, Death card doesn't necessarily mean death. This means the transition of some of you are coming to the realization that you are standing alone um like i said defending yourself um and what you stand for what you believe in caring for yourself and you know putting everyone else either second for last okay because you are trying to have a like i said have a new lease on life you want you have the ability to start over with a clean slate um, and you know some things need to come to an end that you have been doing in your life and you are trying to transcend um, into your highest self and there are some people around you that don't want that for you they want you to stay in this debacle okay that's what I'm hearing okay if you were a party animal you know going to the club all the time drinking all the time all that stuff and now you're tired of it because it's not for you anymore you know i'm hearing can't hang anymore <laughs> um maybe someone has said that to you um but again for some of you it could be that it has now caught up to your health okay 
and so it's either your health or keep partying like I hate to say it like it's 1999 you can't do that anymore okay it's time to grow up is what I'm hearing okay ten of swords at the bottom of the deck okay something has happened where this like I said if it's your health enough is enough it was the it was like the last nail in the coffin for you that you needed to change and unfortunately Pisces if people can't understand that then you are going to have to turn your back on them and start over okay if they're not willing to accept the new version of who you are for your highest good, then they weren't meant to be there in the first place, okay? Excuse me, let's clarify the Seven of Cups and then we'll get your ancestor messages, okay? So between the every... Between the everyday tarot and urban tarot, this is what is currently happening in your life right now, Pisces, okay? The ancestors is going to give you your overall advice on how to handle this situation. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups for Pisces. Keep it simple, Spirit. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Keep it simple, Spirit. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Pisces? 3242 as we get into your reading. said there's argument disagreement with oh now all of a sudden you want to change oh all of a sudden you're better than everybody um all of this jazz okay so which i told you there's going to be people that don't want you to be your highest self they don't want the highest good for you because they don't want the highest good for themselves. That is the issue here, okay? Um, and you have to be able to be strong enough to say enough is enough. I come first. If you don't like it, then tough. You weren't meant to be here in the first place, okay? You have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? So Three of Cups, that means that you are going to have at least... A small few a small few that actually want the best for you okay you are going to end up celebrating um, this new change in life like I said um, it is going to work out for you if you do have to go through some form of surgery or things of that nature um, it is going to be a successful surgery and you are going to be able to move on gracefully with this newfound life okay 
but you are your friends list is about to literally diminish quite quite a bit okay so let's get into the ancestor oracle deck okay um what is the overall advice from the ancestors okay from your ancestors okay we've already shuffled but i knock out of out of habit okay so we're taking one from the top one from the bottom okay and one from the middle we turn this way so you guys can't see the bottom okay and that I can't see the bottom alright okay and so we have reconnect with mother earth plant garden and harvest okay we have nature spirits elves fairies and rock formations the last one we have spirit guides insight guidance and purpose okay so from your ancestors they're telling you i'm i'm feeling some type of you have a very strong spirit team around you pisces that is vouching for you that is fighting for you on the other side and they're trying to connect with you okay your spirit guide um, could possibly be an eagle or a hawk um, but you are transcending okay the death card did come out so there's some form of transformation that you are going through at this time and the reason why you're going through this is because your spirit guide is right there with you okay trying to guide you okay on your life's purpose you have a life purpose other people you you may see it or you may not see it right now but you will be okay um because i do have this lane right over that three of cups in the death card um up underneath the seventh of seven of wands okay nature spirits elves fairies and rock formations you could be um seeing spirits in nature okay again you're reconnecting with mother earth here okay so some really strong earth energy is what i'm feeling here um but go for a walk in the park um go in the woods somewhere where you can reconnect with nature okay um or do some planting some of you may have the gift of of growing things um maybe putting some plants around your house um, or gardening. Um, some of you could have um, already found whatever it is your life purpose is and you're already doing it and you are waiting for the harvest to come at this time, okay? Um, with rock formations you may be drawn to like canyons um or just different types of rock formations um i'm also hearing crystals you might be a crystal collector okay um but there are spirits in nature um that are guiding you as well that are watching over you i feel like you are being watched over you are a water sign, so this waterfall is really kind of like drawing me in here, okay? So maybe some of you may be going to like, I don't know why, but I'm hearing like the rainforest or something like that, or maybe donating to the rainforest, um, things of that nature. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's what just came through, okay? So we're going to go in from messages from your angels. 
to get what um, your final messages of support are, okay? Same as before, one on the top, one from the bottom, and one from the middle. Turn it this way so you guys can see the bottom of the deck. So I got it to pull from here. Okay. So we have Isabella. Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations, okay? So yes, the timing is right, okay? If you've been putting something off, whether this be a, a business plan or like I said, a life purpose, or for some of you, your health, this is the time to do it now, okay? No more putting it off, okay? The outcome is going to be victorious as we saw, as we saw, the Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, okay? That's beautiful energy, Pisces. So don't put anything off any further. It is going to be very successful for you, okay? Fiona, Fiona, now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Okay? We have that sitting right over nature spirits. Okay? And the green is just like coming back through all over again with the garment that she's wearing and the green that's all in this card and how they have like they blend in with nature. Okay? So now is the time, now that you've asked for help, um, be open to receive it. So if you have been praying for help, um, praying for help, uh, praying for help from, um, from others, but not getting it, your angels are here. Your spirit team is here to help you along your way. Okay. Like I said, you're friend circle is about to diminish real real small you're about to see who's real and who's fake okay archangel michael archangel michael i am with you giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose that was the one that i pulled straight from the middle what did i say earlier you had the death card and the three of wands. Three of wands here twice. The seven of wands came out twice. Okay? So no matter what anyone is telling you or if you are fighting against people that don't want you to change. Okay? Because they don't want you to leave them behind. Okay? Archangel Michael is saying, I am giving you the courage to make the life changes. They are necessary. You need to do them. I will definitely tell you, I made life changes in my own life. I stopped drinking. I only drink if I drink. It's like occasionally, like for social events, but to drink or have drinks in my house, it's like, no, I don't do that anymore. I, last time I had a drink was literally my birthday. That was in April. Um, <clears throat> I don't smoke anymore. Um, and ever since I stopped doing that, guess what? It led me to tarot. So I say that to say, don't be held back by others because they don't want you to leave them behind. Okay? Sometimes you have to leave people behind for them to wake up. Be lead by example. Okay? Lead by example. I have said that in the self-care read. I can't remember whose reading it was in, but someone is going to have to lead by example. And if leading by example means leaving people behind until they want to wise up, and if they don't, they don't. That's not your problem. Okay? So do what you have to do to get yourself in a better headspace, Pisces, because you deserve it, okay? 
your ancestors say that you deserve it, okay? Don't nobody, don't let nobody tell you any less, okay? <sighs> that is going to be it for your a word from the ancestors reading. I hope y'all enjoy this spread, hopefully. Um, we will definitely be keeping this in rotation. I love it. I love this spread. It, um, it's truly amazing. Um, and I like, I felt that really deep. <laughs> there was a lot of channel message in there. I ain't gonna be able to keep up with it. But like, share, subscribe if you feel this resonated with you. If not, I will just catch you on the next read because there's gonna be plenty. All right. Have a good one, Pisces.